Stephanie Mullen here to quickly show you how to use the style mats from the Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox in Adobe Premiere. Now before I start, let me say really quick that all Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox effects are ProRes and can be read by both Mac and PCs. If you are working on a PC, check out the description below for a link to download the free ProRes codec. The installation is simple and you will be up and running in no time. Alright, let's jump into Premiere. And as you can see here, I already have a sequence going and I have a small little edit, just a clip of my timeline. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the uh, look at the style mats from the toolbox. So first I need to import them. So all I need to do is go where my bend and my clips are. I'm going to right click, click on import. And then you need to find wherever you've stored all of your, your effects. Mine are right here, so I'm going to scroll down here to say style mats. And I'm going to say import. And what you're going to see here is you're going to see a failure of a file to import. This is your PDF preview sheet. The preview sheet is going to give you a really quick uh, snapshot of what each effect does so it can help you and make you find a, like an effect you're specifically looking for a lot faster. We're going to say OK. And here are all of our effects. Now since we've imported them, we're, we have step one. Now step two is going to be dragging them to our timeline. So I'm just going to click on a, a style mat, drag it over here. I'm going to just cinch this up really fast so that it matches. Now, what we're going to do is we need to add a track mat here. To do that, I'm going to go to my effects. You can either type in track mat here like that, and oops, and there it is, track mat key. Or you can always go to video effects, scroll down to keying, and there's the track mat key as well. And we're going to drag this track mat key to our video clip, not the mat. It's very important to put it on the video clip. Once you have it there, you're going to click on the video clip. You're going to go up to your effects controls right here and you're going to see track mat key. You're going to tell the track mat key where your track mat lives. So ours lives on video layer 2. So I'm going to click video layer 2. And if I scroll this back and play, there we go. There's our mat and our clip. Perfect. Super, super easy. All right. I'll show you that one more time with a different, different kind of mat. Let's erase that mat and let's do, let's do mat 2. All right. And let's cinch that out like that. And since we already have the track mat here, and this is on video layer two, we can actually play it from here. Oops, sorry about that. There you go. And there's another track mat with the style mat. Perfect. Now, I'm going to take this off of here, and I'm going to go back to number one, because I want to show you one quick thing on how to change the color, and then we'll be finished. So here's our, here's our edit right now as we had it before. All right, and you'll see that the background is black. Now it actually isn't black, it's kind of like a hole, so you're kind of looking through a window. If you want to change that black background to a different color, it's really simple. All we need to do is move our two clips up one layer, just like that. Now don't be worried that they disappeared, because all we have to do is tell the track mat again that now our mat's on layer three. So let's go ahead and do that first. So let's click here, let's go back to our effects, let's get rid of just this one. And we, remember, we have to tell where our mat is, so our mat is now on video layer three. Okay, whew. There we go, it's back. Now, to make a, the colors really simple, all we're going to do is come down here underneath the, all of our bends right here, and I'm going to click on this little box here, and it says color mat. So we're going to click on that, and make sure it matches up to the same size that you have it. It does. We're going to say OK, and we're going to pick a color. Let's say, I don't know, let's go with yellow. All right, we're just going to name it color mat. You're going to see it show up over here in your bend. All you need to do is now drag that underneath your clip, and if we roll that through, there we go. We now have a yellow background. So simple, so easy. And if you want to change the color, you just go over here, double click on this on your color mat, and then you can change it to whatever you want. Pink. All right. There you go. That's it. So all you do is import it into your where your bins are, wherever your footage is. You're going to drag it to your timeline. You're going to then find your track mat in your effects panel. Drag your track mat to your video clip, not your mat, your video clip. So drag my track mat here to my video clip, click on my video clip, go up here to the effects control and tell it where the mat lives. So wherever, whatever layer it's on, that's what you want to have it on. And that's it. So easy, so simple, and that's all. If you're interested in more Rampant Filmmaker Toolbox tutorials, check out the link below. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and we'll be happy to help. Again, thanks for watching. Bye!